Hello beautiful people, it's Sherry Moulton back with another video. I gotta put it on, even if I don't get all dumped up, but we're gonna put this on until February 14th. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're back with another video. I am gonna do some resin coasters. I'm gonna do, um, my hairdresser was looking for green flowered coasters and I don't think I've done a green so I'm going to try and find now his colors are like the green in that lovely lady I had him in mind when I was doing that so I'm going to try and find some glitters that I have hopefully I have something that's similar to that green but anyways before we do I'm going to bring you down and go through a bunch of little things that I bought I'm attempting to make um, I don't know if you remember, I, back in the day when you were allowed to go visit people, um, I was up visiting my daughter in Toronto and we did a paint night, paint with Jane. We did the lady in the red umbrella with, yeah, anyways. So with that being said, I bought some paints and a few brushes and left them there and thought that every time I would go up to visit, we would do a paint night. We tried to do paint nights in the bars and stuff like that. Every single time we did it, it was canceled. We're crazy and you're only up there for two days so it was a certain time you couldn't do it. So anyways, so we've decided that we're gonna do it on our own. I'm gonna bring you down and show you what I bought. Now, it's quite humorous because my daughter's sweetest little girl ever. She's not a little girl, but she gave me a Michael's gift card for Christmas. <laughs> Girl after my own heart. Sorry guys, you're getting all cockeyed. So anyway, so this is what I purchased. These I've had before, but Michael's had a sale and they were buy one, get one free. So these are th 36 pieces. It is ridiculous the amount. I know I have the Perio ones, but those are mine. These ones are going to go up to her house when I go up the next time. Amazing. So you've got all of them. These are all of the, the um, metallics on the bottom. S such an, an array of colors. And I think um, we're building each, we're, I'm building us paint kits. So I've got, now we've got the paints. Um, I think the only thing I might purchase is a large tube of the white and the black and I think you can get away with this um, I bought us each I've been using these these are the these are the ones I use to make the um, the flowers on that um, really pretty um, flowered one that I did with the glitter and stuff the multicolored so anyways these are dollar tree Dollarama if I can get you in there closer Dollarama, $3.50. Yeah, $3.50. To me, that's worth that. So I bought us each a set of those. And um, at that Liquidation World, these were $3. Just to, you know. And it shows you on the back what you can actually do with each brush. That's the thing. You, you Anybody can paint. You just have to learn how to... To process how to use your brush properly and then this was at Walmart before I found these I picked this up so I thought I would bring that up with me stick that in our box of paint brushes and stuff and again it shows you how to and then I bought I'm pretty sure I already have a set of each of these up there but it don't hurt to bring them up anyways I brought this one this one was from Michaels and then this one and they, they, they feel the same. Well, mind you, they feel that this one might be a little bit less sturdy. A buck 29 at the dollar store. So yeah, so this is my dollar store, Michael's. So we're gonna make that. Maybe what I'll do is um, do a video of a little clip of one of our paint nights. But I had to show you these guys, because this, I purchased in the hopes, my son and I were at Costco, 
before Christmas and we were looking at stuff and I seen they had, I've been wanting to get um, a baker's bun rack and thinking that even if it was just to store my resin molds and all that stuff, because everything should be laid flat so that it's organized. So they had them on for 119 and I said to myself, oh, I'll come back after Christmas and get it. Well, I went back after Christmas and they sent them back. They didn't even sell them. They just sent them back. But they had the trays left. So I bought, I think there's six of them. I bought all they had left. One, two, three. I guess I only bought four. So I figured they would be cool to set my um, resin molds in. So... I'm, and then that way I can just pick up the tray and move it over. I'm going to line it with a silicone mat and that way nothing gets on the aluminum. But I'm so devastated. So now I'm still, hello, I'm still in the midst of trying to find one. So if anyone knows where to buy one, I'm in Ontario, Canada. So anyways, with that being said, I'm going to mix up my resin. And as I'm mixing my resin, I use my mask. I'm going to go through this every time. Um, and I have an air purifier, Dyson air purifier on. And when I do my video, I'm choosing not to wear the mask. But I want you people to read the regulations, health and safety regulations on your resins. Make sure that you protect yourself because it can be nasty stuff. So with that being said, I'm going to mix my resin up and uh, we'll be right back. Hello, we are back. I have mixed up um, nine, 10 ounces of resin. My resin of choice is crystal resin. It is made in the US. It is um, locally out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It is free shipping in Canada. And I'll have the link in my description box. So I'm gonna go quick because I'm doing two things. You're getting two for the price of one. I am doing, um, my flowered resin coasters in green for my hairdresser and then I'm going to play around. I've got my flower coasters and I'm going to try and make a bowl. So with that being said, I'm going to mix up my coaster stuff first. I have, I'm using my, my little tray from um, Costco. I'm going to use the center of in these, I'm going to use the um, ah, Ashland's Broken Glass Gold. I can get any in there. All right, gold. So what I'm going to do is right now, I've mixed my resin. I've got it in a cup. I'm going to put one ounce in the bottom of each of these because when I do make these coasters, I do two ounces. The first ounce I use, I do the flower part. And then in the second layer, I will do an ounce of each with the glitter. So right now we'll pour one ounce in each mold. And really you can do, as long as it's coated on the bottom, you could probably do under an ounce with these molds because they're quite deep. My goodness, Sherry. I just want to get them in here first and then um, proceed. Now I did clean my molds out with um, rubbing alcohol. And then I took my masking tape, there we go, and um, did that. I'm going to put minimal, and I mean, I'm going to set that down here, minimal, just enough to cover these, and that should be enough, because I want these to be the center of my, you know, just enough, just to adhere everything together. I'm just going to mix that up. And then I'm going to put two ounces in this cup and that is going to be for my um, paste. And you know what, 
right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do one and a half. I don't need to do two, because I always have leftover. And then with this, I'm gonna proceed to move over. I'm gonna do this side. And we're gonna do, I'm gonna leave it covered for right now. I'm gonna mix what's left amongst these three cups. And then I'll show you, because it takes one and a half ounce for each of these molds. Yes. So I need three. So we will do an ounce in each of these cups. So it's basically the same idea as what I did with my my flowers, the poppies for my husband. And you know what, if I've got a little extra, I'm gonna put it in amongst these guys. This is just a clean, plain, because there's no use throwing it away. And then I'm gonna mix, and what I have left, I will, oh, I don't want it on the tray. I'm going to, um, it's brand new, I don't want to ruin it. Sorry guys. And this is just a, a wipe that I'm using. All right, I'm just gonna mix it in here. Well, a little bit there. And we are doing purple copper, because I have never done really like I said, I'm not a purple pink girl, but mind you, my hair's got purple in it. So I wanted to try this, um, the new, a new color for me, the Bora Bora. So, all right, I am going to set this guy up first. I'm going to put this in here because I'm going to need to mix that with that. And I am going to put, give this a torch. Too funny battery died so I'm I torched all this we'll do one more I'm gonna put my gloves back on because I had to take them off just so they didn't get resin on my coaster on my camera so I'm gonna let that sit because that's the key with those with these coasters that you need to let it sit and that's why I thought I would try and do something else I'm gonna use my I'm gonna list everything in my description box. I will list it as flower coasters and I will put it in the description. And then I will list it as flower bowl. And then I'll put what I'm using on this side. So I have my Casting Craft Opaque Pigment White. I am going to put 10 drops in it. And for me, I ended up putting it in a different container so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And someone mentioned about um, putting in some alcohol ink to give it a little more of a white color. So I've never tried it and I've got my stuff right here. So I'm going to try. This is Pinata give it a shake because it hasn't even been used yet. This is my um, pinata colored ink and this one is Blanche, which would be white. And I'm just going to put, ooh, there we go. One, two, three drops and we'll see how that goes. We're going to mix all of this up. There we go. I was getting worried for a minute. It didn't look like anything. Now I'm going to let that just sit in my cup for a minute. And we're going to proceed. We're going to put our... I'm going to get a stick. We're going to put 
that in the middle of the resin. And hopefully it'll stay. My goodness, Sherry. don't look like there's any color to it. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to quickly put it in and then come back and scoop it up. stick and cut her grab the wrong end and kind of push it all in the middle this one actually stayed and this one and this one a little bit more all right now I'm gonna let all this stuff sit for a few minutes while I mix up this resin I am oh my goodness wipe my hands off here I got resin all over my gloves. Okay. We are using, these are all um, black diamond pigments. This one is purple haze. And just a little bit. I'm gonna try a little bit. I'm thinking that might be enough. I don't wanna get it into the other one. So this will go in here for that coaster. I'm going to give it a mix. Ooh, pretty. Pretty. And the next one we're going to use, I've already used this one. It's quite nice. It is um, black diamond pigment, copper penny, because I thought the purple on the copper would be pretty. And I'm going to try to use less. I know less is more. Is that what they say? Oh my goodness, I keep shaking it off and not. <laughs> I don't want to get it in that coasters. We're going to try that which I'm going to probably need a little bit more than that. There, I think that's good. We'll mix that up. I'm just going to mix it this way. You can still see, but I don't want to get it into my other coasters. I'd put a paper towel on, but I'd be afraid of go. I was thinking copper on the outside of it, pink, purple in the middle, or next, where did I mother stick? And we're going to use some of this black diamond pigment. This one is purple galaxy. And I will go a little more with that. And we'll put that in the middle. All right. Let's get this one mixed up. Make sure this isn't getting too hot. No, oh, it's doing good. Alright, let's get this done quick. I was going to use Martha, but we're not. Now we're on the crunch time. I'm going to put a 
I'm just going to stick that right there. And we're just going to follow the outside. Oh my goodness. And move everything out of your way. Look at that. out of that. Next we're going to come with the purple haze. And I'm going to try and get that out of there because we do not want that. A little more in this one. A little more in this one. And then we're going to finish it off. With my purple galaxy. Right in the center. Right in the center. And I want to bring it up so that it's level but not over going. I don't want it to overtake the, uh, the mold. A little more. go. going to give it a torch and then I'm going to come back over to this guy. Careful of your molds. And we are now over on here. Put my pack. This I'm going to put into my, see it looks so nice and white. So I'm going to put this into my, this is just a Ziploc bag. I'm going to pour it in, and that's what I'm using as my piping bag. And there we go. I'm excited. My, I'm just getting it all down to the end kind of closing the bag up a little bit, get the air out, give it a good twist. I'm going to cut the end of the bag off because it seems to get in the way. Oh, that looks so pretty, that galaxy. Sorry. Now, as I say, I say it again and again and again. Try to get as small of as a hole as you can because you can always put a second layer of the flower, but you cannot take it out. So again, just let me see if I can get it for you. A little bit more. My eyes are so bad I can't even see. All right. Let me just flip hands so I can all right and here we go my friends it's gonna come out quick and here we 
go. Just my regular old flower. I'm anxious to see whether it has made a difference adding the alcohol ink. And try to go as close as you can. I'm going to come back here and do another layer on this side. Because it will come out. Oh, that one kind of goofed. And here we go. Again, you can tell when I'm concentrating, I'm quiet. Oh my goodness, Sherry, I can't see. Perfect. I'm going to bring this there so I can see a little better. And just can see it working it's just it's amazing how chemistry works I was always a, a, a science nerd in high school I was the weirdo that went in I'm gonna gonna fix this I don't know if you can see it but whoops it um, didn't join as I hit the oh my goodness that one might not turn out right just try and get that. There we go. I was the nerd in the science fair. Alright, and again, like I said, I've always got a little left. So, I'm going to see if I can get, there's a little bit of white. I want to make sure it's, I'm trying to fix this petal up. At least make it more cohesive, and that ain't going to work. So we're going to leave it. That is that. I'm excited because it did stay in the center. This guy, oh, is it not looking cool? I have a little glitter and I have a little copper and I have a little bunny. So we're going to put a little glitter and a little copper. And we're going to start filling these guys. Whoops. There was that, and oh, you know what? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the casting calf casting opaque pigment white on the bottom because there's no use wasting it, and then we can. You're getting three projects in one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's coming out that little wee hole. It's coming. Mm -hmm. It's coming. I'm trying to squeeze it all out of here. Whoop. Ooh. 
Look at that. Like it was made. Perfect. So, I don't know, do I swirl on this guy? But I know I'm going to do another torch on both. That is so cool. Um, we will do a little alcohol. I was just, oh my goodness, that would have been horrible. I have a bottle of water. I'm going to do another spray of the 95% alcohol. Just because I want bubbles gone. Perfect. Oh, I'm excited. I got. You guys are getting it today. You're getting everything today. All right, I'm going to leave my little bunny. I'm going to. Oh, no. I want to wipe that off because. Not sure if the resin will adhere to the aluminum 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 tray. I'm just gonna clean that off and we'll let this go and I'm gonna try and go through my glitters. Hopefully I have a, a green that'll match. He has that like apple green is what he has in his studio. So that being said, I'm gonna let this sit and we'll come back and in about four hours i think and then i can do my second coat on this i can unmold these and put them into a bowl to make a dish and with that being said i'll see you guys in a bit hello we are back i have mixed up four ounces of resin in my cup and we are just going to pour our second layer onto these lovely Coasters. I think they worked. Amazing. Now, I don't have the proper color of green that I really, really want. So, I combined this dollar store glitter. There is, it's called, there's no color labeled on it. Dollar store glitter. And I combined Martha Stewart's Chunky Olive Vine and Martha Stewart's Chunky Verda Light. Now I've combined all three of them in my cup. And I'm going to add a little bit of my um, Peblio Studios um, Iridescent Green Yellow. Because this is the kind of the color that he has his um, furniture. And I did a painting already for him. The glitter paintings. So this is kind of the color we want. So I'm going to add. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to add a good dollop. And give it a mix and see what cometh may. going to add it a little bit more and then I think that should be good and then I'm going to add my glitter we had a mishap with the bunny I'll have to show you oh it's sticking to the all right looks like a green apple is what uh, and that's exactly what mama went was going for perfect now we're gonna pour our glitter into it I'm just pouring it all in because I made that I'm just gonna back up a little we're gonna mix that in together the sides Pretty good. I'm 
thinking I might add a little more of this dollar store glitter just because I want that glitter in there. I'm just squeezing. And stir. Not too worried. It's dollar store stuff, so. Ooh, we got a big old crack in my cup. There we go. That is exactly what I'm going for. All righty, I'm gonna grab a one ounce cup and we're going to measure and put one ounce in each. And as I always say, a big stir before you pour because you want them all to be equal when it comes to the glitter. Oh yes, that is exactly the color I was going for. And I don't know if you noticed, um, you can see that the glass has come up but I'm not worried because with our second layer, it is going to be taken care of. So we're going to stir. Pour. And another stir. It is ridiculous. I, I don't understand. There's enough to do what I'm doing, but this is nowhere near four. Unless I'm missing it. Maybe you don't fill it to the top, but anyway. If you think you mixed four ounces, you should get four of these cups. And you think you would get a little more because I added stuff to it. But, whatever, I guess, eh? Okay, so I'm going to put all that down here. Perfect. I am so happy. Just make sure it goes into that corner. Awesome, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a torch. All right, I'll do that again. Because it was quite bubbly. And I'm gonna spritz it with some alcohol once we're done this. Now, I was playing around. It's very, very pliable. I can get that out. I've got this bowl and I am just laying in some cling wrap. And I'm hoping this works. So, being too wrinkly. That's my only worry. Ah, I'm not in there. There we go. My only worry is that it's going to be wrinkled. Okay. That, is that not cool? I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a pinky purple person. Again, it's very pliable, but we want to mold it. So, and I've got my gloves on. There we go. Ooh, it's transparent even. All right. We're going to Put it in this mold, ah, the bowl, and let it fall down. I want to and there we go. Now we're gonna let that sit. I'm gonna pull out the other one. 
I'll make sure it's not on the front side because I don't want it to be hard to come. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. There we go. It'll sink back in. Alrighty, so we've got my second bowl ready to go. I just want to make sure it's flat. And then when we set it in, it'll sink in. All right, here we go. Again, pliable. I'm debating whether to put one on the right side and one on... We are. We're going to put this one this way and see. Because... That's sticking. There we go. There. And we're going to let that sit overnight. And I'm sticking. And I'm going to come back in the morning and we will have some dishes. Now my poor bunny. It was hard as a rock. I got it all undone. And then when it came to its ears, this is what happened. <laughs> so funny. So anyways, so I did a curly cue. Maybe it's not a bunny. It's a dog with a mullet. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, so that's that. I'm going to give this another torch. And make sure it stays in the center. Perfect. And where did I put my alcohol? I'll do this spritz. Mm hmm. I'm excited. With that being said, I am going to re recover this. Um, I'll give you guys a show of what I'm doing. This is, I bought this, bought this one at the dollar store. Not sure if they have them out right now. It, it's a summer thing. It is a, um, a food cover that you would use for like a picnic. And this one is pretty good because it covers quite an area. I'm able to get, I think it's a 20 by 24 inch canvas underneath here. So I, when I do do my Dutch pours, I throw everything under here, which is quite cool. So anyways, with that being said, I'll let these sit overnight and the big reveal in the morning. See you guys. Good morning, everybody. We are back for the reveal. I'm excited. Now, we'll, we'll do the sidebar first. So, I don't know. This is kind of cute, but I have to figure out how to adhere. <laughs> adhere that better because I see all these lovely bowls and they're doing a better job than, than Sherry Moulton is at the moment. So, I'm going to... Um, like I said, this is, oh my, that was even worse. <laughs> These are just trial and errors, so um, we'll figure it out as we go. See, even this one didn't have as much. That's crazy. Oh, well. What do we say? We live and learn, right? But this was the star of the show, so let's see. I'm excited. I'm going to pop them all out. All right. Get rid of those. 
<sighs> All right, here we go. It's not as nice as, where's the other ones? Oh, I don't have them here. The glitter's not as nice because as the, um, I don't know, you can see a patch there, but they're pretty. I like the color. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Oh my God, that side makes it worth the bad side on the back. That is stunning. I just, I'm gonna have to get, let me just get another one and see. I just have this one kicking around over here. To me, I really don't see a difference with putting the alcohol ink in it. I really don't see a difference. But anyways, here we go. Here we go. They're all the same. It's like the, um, the dollar store glitter, this one kind of went all in the center, but it, it's still nice. I like it. All right, here we go. One, two, three, once one turned out, they're all going to turn out. I am impressed. One, two, three. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I'm impressed. These, I don't know. I just love doing these. I could do these all day long. One, two, three. Here we go. Awesome. And I love the idea that when you look at it on the side, I don't know if you can see in there. It's just pretty cool the 3d effect well there you go Sean these I had in mind for you <laughs> so anyways I hope everybody is having a wonderful week and with that being said I'm glad you're going through all my trials and errors it's a little see-through for me too like I can still see through so anyways um, if you had not yet subscribed please do um, hit that thumbs up Find the bell in there somewhere, give it a little push, give it a little ding, or some people say smash the bell. <laughs> so you get notifications on my next video. And if you like what you see, please give it a share. With that being said, hope you all guys have a wonderful day. Love you guys. Bye.